U.S. Aids to Navigation System The Coast Guard administers the U.S. Aids to Navigation System to guide boaters or to warn them of the presence of dangers or obstacles. These navigation aids help determine your position on the water and can help you find the best route to your chosen destination. To fully understand the Aids to Navigation System, which indicates the port and starboard size of a channel, we must first understand upstream and downstream on a body of water. Upstream is where the flow of water comes from the source. At the opposite end, we find the downstream, which is the side towards which the waterway is going in the direction of the current. So, when you navigate from the sea to the rivers and streams, you are going upstream. The lateral markers placed to your right will be red, while the ones placed to your left will be green. Starboard hand marks are red and indicate the right side of channels or where a danger is located. It must be kept on the starboard, right, side of a vessel when heading upstream. Its top is cum-shaped. If there's a light, it is red, and if it is numbered, it bears an even number. Port hand marks are green and indicate the left side of channels or where a danger is located. It must be kept on the port, left, side of a vessel when heading upstream. Its top is flat. If there's a light, it is green, and if it is numbered, it bears an odd number. Arriving at a junction in a channel, we encounter a preferred channel mark. This can be left on either side. The buoy has a wide red or green band. The color of the upper band indicates the main or preferred channel. Here, as the upper band is red, the preferred channel mark indicates that the main channel is to the port and the secondary channel is to the starboard. Conversely, if the upper band had been green, the preferred channel mark would have indicated that the main channel would be on the starboard side and the secondary channel on the port side. Caution. Although a preferred channel mark indicates a junction in the channel, one of the channels may not be suitable for all vessels. The appropriate nautical chart should always be consulted. In addition to the lateral buoys, we can cross day beacons when navigating in a channel. Unlike a buoy which is anchored, a day beacon is an aid to navigation which is fixed. If you are entering a navigable channel from seaward or proceeding upstream, the port hand day beacon is a green square with an odd number inside a lighter green square while the starboard hand day beacon is a red triangle with a number even written within a paler red triangle. 